visit our website, that's at smegrowth.ng, to get the details and also listen to our previous conversations. So that's smegrowth.ng. Go there now. You can share the link with anyone who wants to be a part of this. You do not want to miss today's episode, I tell you. So you can get updates, exclusive content, and of course, you can connect with our dynamic business community all right well last week was about getting that all-important foreign exchange through diaspora remittances it was a brilliant conversation again you can get to listen to that on our website and it's amazing really how diaspora remittance can be a bigger forex earner than crude oil with tens of billions of dollars yearly. Yeah, that's one of the big things uh, we got from last week's conversation. But I tell you, it was a fun conversation. But what do we have for you today? That's the big question. Well, we are turning our attention to something new, something fresh, something you don't want to miss. You know how technology keeps improving, right? Every day, there's something new to look forward to. And it essentially improves the way we live, the way we do business. Well, we're talking about one of those ways technology is making life easier in a few minutes on the show today. But let me give you a quick backstory, all right? Let me just set the tone for what we're talking about today. 30 years ago, just picture 30 years ago, right? If you were born then, and I imagine you were born then, 30 years ago, you had to be physically present in a bank just to do your transactions, right? Whether to send money, to receive money, to open an account, you had to travel to a bank. It doesn't matter if the bank, the closest bank to you was, well, hundreds of kilometers away. You had to be there physically. All right. So payments took days at that time. Sometimes you had to wait days, weeks, visit the banks and say, I paid this money or this money has been paid. That was a situation three decades ago. But some years after, ATMs came, that's automated teller machines. They came and you could withdraw money from anywhere without going into a banking hall. So that essentially cut down your travel time, the cost of transportation. Essentially, all of the time, you will waste traveling to a bank. Fast forward a few years after that, internet banking followed. And with it came not just you know ease, but speed as well. You could transfer money from the comfort of your home and the money will be credited almost immediately. With your phone, actually, you can do almost everything you used to travel kilometers to do in a banking hall. So things kept getting easier and easier with technology. And you know what we do on the show? We do not want you to miss out on any of these technological advancements that can make your personal finance or your business grow. What we're talking about today is a new way of making and receiving payments, all right? If you're fond of doing business, which I imagine you are in one way or the other, if you're a business person or you're a consumer or a customer, this conversation is definitely for you. So in case you know someone you think will benefit from this conversation, quickly put a call through to them and tell them, listen to Radio Nigeria wherever you are right now, or just go to smegrowth.ng to be a part of the conversation. So what do we have for you today? Well, let me unbox it right away. It is called the N. QR code. That is the Nigeria Quick Response Code. I'll say that again. The NQR code. Okay. In case you're just listening or hearing it for the first time, not so worried. We'll break it down for you. Okay. NQR. And I tell you, these codes, NQR codes, have opened up new possibilities in the world of secure and convenient payments. On the show today, the Money Gang is back with some brilliant financial services experts and they will open us up to the world of NQR codes. But just before I introduce them, let me tell you this. You can be a part of the show wherever you are. You can call us or send us a message, all right? So pick up your phone, dial 0810-608-1681 or 081 081- Six zero eight one six eight one. You can call us or send us a message, or you can even do WhatsApp. You can send us a WhatsApp message on these lines, or zero eight one eight two zero two five eight eight three. So these are the numbers with which you can reach out to us. You can ask us any question you have on the conversation. If you've got comments or areas you need us to clarify on, feel free. We are here for you. Let's get into the conversation, shall we? Are you at the market, at a restaurant, you're transferring funds, whatever transaction you're doing, how will NQR codes impact 
your business. Well, Joy Igbarama is a product manager, Echo Bank Pay. Echo Bank, of course, she joins us virtually on the show this evening. Joy, it's great to have you. I, I can say that we're joyful to have you on the show. Uh, Olutimi Ibrahim is also here with us as a head digital and e-commerce business and commercial clients at Stambic IBTC Bank. Olutimi, great to have you as well. Charles Akuna as a group head acceptance business at First Bank Limited also joins us virtually on the show this evening. Charles Fantastic to have you on the program. And of course, Adiri Salah Adiyeye joining us again as a group head acquiring business at Fidelity Bank PLC. Adiri Salah, thank you for joining us on the show. So, lady and gentlemen, shall we begin? And I'll start with Joy, naturally, and just uh, get Joy to break the ice, sort of, and tell us what exactly is this Nigeria Quick Response or NQR code. What, what is it about? I love the sound of it. Quick response. Who doesn't love quick responses, right? But what is it about and why is it important in payment system? Joy. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. So NQR, like you correctly said, quick response. So um, it is when you want to pay for a transaction, it's something that goes through easily. So it's called instant settlement. So when um, somebody scans your QR code, it, it automatically shows the name and account number of a merchant. And when your customer scans that QR, you will just impute the amount of the um, whatever goods you want to buy. And immediately the merchant is settled. So in the normal Nigerian term, it's called scan and pay. So you can just scan a QR and pay. Basically, that's what it means. Unlike POS that gets settled um, after one day. NQR mm. is instant settlement. The merchant is instantly credited. Joy, you would oblige me. We lost the early part of what you said. I think it was a connection thing. So can you please start again with the NQR codes? We got the latter part, but just I imagine you said some important okay. things at first. So let's let's get that first part again about NQR codes, uh, basically, and why it's important in payments. All right, NQR, that's quick response. Just as the name is, it's... um. It's a response that goes in automatically. Um, for Nigerians, it is called scan and pay. That's the common term used here in Nigeria. So it mm -hmm. is immediately you scan a QR, you get instant settlement. Unlike um, every other payment that it's T plus one, that's, um, you get settled the next day. This is instant settlement. The merchant gets settled immediately after the um, QR is scanned. It brings up the uh, merchant's name and account number instead of a um, um, mobile app where you have to impute the account number and um, impute the bank and all that. So it, automatic it automatically pops up. Then you just put the amount and your transaction goes through. Okay. Thank you very much for that starter. So we'll still walk through the process, how to do it step by step. But I love the sound okay. of that quick response. And, and I'm glad you gave that uh, example, the T plus one. So this is essentially eliminates the T plus one. So in case you're just joining us, we're talking about NQR codes. Yes, you can do transfers if you want to make payments. You can use that ATM if you want to make payments. You can even pay physically and do all sorts. But with the NQR code, you even get a faster means of making payments, doing business transactions. And that's what we're talking about today on the show. Joy, just give us and open it to this, what exactly the NQR code, that's the Nigeria Quick Response, is about. In some other claims, they just call it the QR code. But because it's we're talking Nigeria, that's why we have the end before it, the Nigeria Quick Response code. Thank you so much, Joy. But let's even get deeper into this and maybe understand how the NQR codes work. Essentially, for those who are interested in understanding how they facilitate seamless payment. So, uh, let me go to Olutimi on this one, how the NQR codes work. I, I know Joy was talking about something you have to scan and all of that, but let's build on that, Olutimi. How does NQR code work? Okay, thanks, Coyote, and um, thanks for having me uh, on the show. Um, so NQR, uh, just like um, my colleague had already mentioned, is uh, it's called the Nigerian Quick Response Code. And um, today, uh, let me just give you an example of what kind of payment uh, we're trying to solve 
Uh, today you go to um, a merchant location and then you discover that um, the only means of making payment probably today, the most popular one is the POS, right? Uh, but what we have done or what the anchor has come to solve is uh, such a situation whereby you, you, you probably forget your card and um, um, you, you want to make payment. And, and um, so the, there's this um, display that you sometimes you see this thing on display like a, like a QR code where, whereby you can scan. So how does the how does this allow you to accept payment um you get to a location and you see that qr code uh being 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 on display what you need to do is to log in into your uh, mobile app and then you um you 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 click on the scan and pay and then you just point your camera uh to that qr code and uh, you are able to make payment uh just like joy mentioned earlier on the account number is displayed and then you are able to make your payment impute the amount and then the transaction goes through um what are we trying to solve here um for instance um proud to now just Imagine you get to a location, you don't have your card and you want to make a payment. And then you, um, you normally the next thing you think about is to make a transfer. And uh, just phantom where the, the person at, at, the, at the till point is not the one that receives the alert. What happens? You have to start waiting for a confirmation to come through. And then uh, before before they, they make a call to uh, the the one that receives the alert, uh, you can imagine the time that you you would have wasted. But we end QR, you get your instant payment. You get you make payment, and then the teller is able to confirm that payment immediately. Uh, so just by logging onto your mobile app and then just clicking on scan. Uh, and, and, and then you just you make your payment and makes it very seamlessly. You get your instant trans, you get instantly credited into your account as a, as a customer, your account as a, as a buyer is debited, and then you, you, you part with your value, and then the goods, of course, you, you leave. So that's the simple way I, I can explain how this work. And um, the good thing again is that um, the NQR works with virtual, with every bank's mobile app, and then you're able to log in. Uh, there are other, other ways you can make this payment. So uh, we've also looked at a, a situation whereby uh, we don't want you to be dependent only on uh, uh, maybe a, a smartphone, for instance. So that's something that has been built into NQR as well that allows you to dial a string of numbers and then you're able to use the USSD code to make this Brilliant. payment as well. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Olutimi, for laying that out. Just a quick recap. I mean, essentially, this is meant to solve those moments. You just realize, yeah, my ATM is with my wife or I left it in my other pocket. You know, those awkward moments and you're stuck and you don't know what to do and then to make it worse you're not able to make transfer because the person at the counter is not the one that receives the alert so they tell you ah, oh god we don't receive transfer and you're like ah but i need to buy this bread now son of man needs to eat so this is essentially uh, meant to solve those awkward situations so you can make payment immediately with your mobile phone and you get uh you know the alert the the merchant or the person selling also gets uh, the alert immediately. So there's no time lag. Uh, Joy called it T plus one uh, in this case, essentially. And it's good to know that you don't just need smartphones. You can also use USSD. So thank you very much, Olutimi, for that one. We'll talk about the benefits and the applications in a bit, but I just wanted to touch on something very important, and that is security. I imagine a lot of people thinking, oh, this is good. I love this, but hey, with all of this technology that they bring here and there, security is a main challenge. So let me bring in Charles uh, to help us out with the security angle. When it comes to using NQR uh, for payment, for those who are concerned about security, and rightly so, uh, could you maybe shed some light on just how secure NQR or NQR codes are? Maybe we can just help people better understand this. Charles. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Kawade. And... Um... Shout out to my other colleagues, Joy and um, Olutimi. All right, so NQR is very, very secured. Now, um, QR generally is something, is a code you can scan. For context, for people who are watching, let's just show you what QR looks like. This is what we call QR. 
Okay, this is what we call QR. Brilliant. All right, so you, you can see this is an NQR for Charles. Okay, all right, so you, you scan this. Now, when you go to supermarkets, you see QRs, you can scan them with your camera and then it can populate an information for you. You can scan maybe somebody's uh, complimentary card and it will populate um, the information to you. But for NQR, it's very secure because it's for payments. So number one, you must be a bank customer. And being a bank customer, you must have an app. For you to be able to access that app, you must have either a password or a PIN code for you to be able to access your app. So that, first of all, gives you the first layer of security. Okay, let's assume that your banking app uses a password and then you're logging with the password. Once you scan the, the QR and you want to make payment, it will still ask you for a transaction PIN. Usually those transaction PIN are about four digit PIN, okay? Uh, some other banks use some other digit pin, but let's assume that the transaction pin is four digit pin. What is the possibility of somebody guessing that digit pin? 10,000. That is the possibility. 10,000. They are going to try guessing, putting different pins. 10,000 10, combinations. Times, of course. But of course, <laughs> after the third combination, it's going to lock uh, that transaction, lock the app because it will understand that you are not the owner of that phone. So that is how secure this is. And also the transaction is also encrypted. So that way you, 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 you do not have a way of it being hijacked by the middleman. Okay, so it's very, very secure to one. Let me explain, it has the first layer. You have to first of all, log into an app. Two, at the point of making payment, you have to also put a transaction pin. So it has double layer of um, security. So you can't go wrong with NQR. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Charles, for that one. So in case you were wondering, what is the security backing uh, that NQR has? There you have it. It is secure. And um, it's important to say this time and again, it is a secure mode of payment. It's just, just like the others you have. And it looks like it even has extra layers, really. And then it makes it easier. You don't have to carry on too much things. With just your mobile phone, you are good to go with NQR code. But let me come back to Joy and uh, Sue. So talk about the maybe the popularity of NQR codes as a means of payment. Uh, in case someone is out there and is wondering, so where can I try out this NQR code? I have the mobile phone. I have an account with my bank. I have a mobile app. I have small money in my account, okay? But I need to make payments. So how is the popularity working out? Where are some of the places I can use these codes to make payment? All right, thank you. You can make payments with NQR anywhere. So um, your the merchant, that's wherever you're going to get your goods from, like Mr. Charles said, the, the merchant has to be a customer of a bank and it has it has to be um, onboarded on the NQR space. So once the merchant is onboarded on the NQR space, any um, any bank customer, can open his or um, mobile app and scan the QR of the merchant and make payments for any goods or services. So it has been um, integrated into all the banks. I know that's um, NIBS, that's the Nigerian Interbank um, system. They have integrated um, all the banks together. So um, if I'm paying, if I'm going to scan another bank's QR, it's going to go through. So it is, it's very popular. And you can also use the USSD code to pay, just like Mr. Tini said. Brilliant. Uh, thank you very much, Joy. We'll, we'll get deeper into this uh, about a uh, few minutes now. We'll get deeper. But let me just reiterate that if you've got questions, if you have comments, you can be a part of the show as well. Uh, just dial these numbers. Are you ready for them? Okay, 0810-608-1681. Let me just say this. It is rare to have these brilliant minds from the financial services sector in the same room at the same time. So we need to really maximize the quantum of knowledge, you know, information that we have on the show today. So you do not want to miss this. So ask them questions, 0818-202-5883. That is what you get 
uh, with the MSME radio show. We bring you the very best minds to give you answers to those burning questions that could help you grow your personal finance, grow your business, be better for yourself and the nation's economy. In case you're just joining us, we're talking NQR code this evening. That's the uh, Nigeria Quick Response Code. It's a new thing to some extent because uh, we're still trying to build awareness about it. But from what I have heard so far, it is the next best thing for payments, for receiving payments, and what have you. And Joy just said that really you can make these payments. You can use NQR anywhere. And when she said anywhere, I just pictured you can use it in the market. You're buying fish. You're buying tomatoes. You just bought you know, what have you, you can use your phone to make payments using NQR or let's imagine, Joy, let me just ask this. Can, can I use it in a bus? Maybe I'm doing transport in a downfall. Is, can I also yeah. make use NQR? Yes, you can. Just, I don't know if we are familiar with BRT. So um, we, we, you know, we have um, the BRT card, but for some people that were not able to get the card, there is already a um, barcode for them to scan and make payments, which is the same thing with um, this NQR we are talking about now. You can use it to make payments anywhere. So far, you have a bank account and you have been onboarded on the NQR space. And just like I said, um, everybody goes out with their phones. So in, imagine somebody going out in the morning and not taking his phone. The person definitely has to go back home and pick up his phone so they can forget their card, they can forget, forget their wallet that contains their cash. So NQR is the is the next best thing in the payment space. All righty. So you, you heard that. You can even use NQR in you know public transport. Fantastic point you made. And naturally, the next question people will ask. By the way, we'll also get to the part where you can onboard either as a business or you want to make payment. But we just need to clear out some of the questions uh, that we have, the preliminary questions. The natural points uh, to go to next is, what will it cost me as a consumer uh, to use NQR codes? I know if I make transfers, I know how much it will cost me. I know what it will take if I maybe use an ATM. But if I use this NQR code, I'm using my phone's camera, I'm using app. I'm using my mobile phone. Is that like more money? So let me just go to uh, Olutimi on this one. What does it cost uh, me to use NQR code as a customer? Okay, thank you very much, Karen, um, once again. Um, today, we all know that um, uh, as a consumer, when you make a transfer, you get to pay some amount and um, it's also tiered. Uh, so the same way NQR uh, it's been uh, it's been factored. It's um, is a tiered mode of payment. Uh, but but in, the most interesting thing about it is that the highest amount you get to pay is just twenty five naira. So no matter what you no matter what transaction you carry out, the maximum you can you can you're gonna pay is about twenty five naira. Uh, you say pay that again, as, Charles. Yeah. Twenty five naira. 25 naira is the maximum that you get to pay uh, nice. for any transaction that you carry out on the NQR. Uh, so that's one of the that's one of the benefits. That's one of the proposition, the value proposition we are pushing forward. Um, very low cost of transaction when you use the NQR. And um, there are so many other benefits that you can get. Um, I, I think Joy mentioned instant settlement. I, I did mention that earlier on as well. Uh, you get your instant settlement as a customer. Um, the, 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 the instances of chargeback is very, very minimal, very minimal because when transaction has gone through, it has, it has actually pulled through. So um, it costs you just 25 naira max to use the NKR, just to put it that way. Thanks. Wow, that's that's really cheap, Charles. 25 Naira. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to get into what's coming to my head. So you heard that, right? The max you would pay uh, for NQR code is 25 Naira. So that speaks volumes, really. And I think it just goes to show how this makes life easier for you as someone making the payment. But Charles, let me ask you, for the merchants or for businesses who want to get on board NQR as well, what is the cost uh, implication for them? Because yes, there is it on the part of me making the payments, but for the person receiving the payment, what kind of cost implication uh, is attached to it, Charles? Okay, all right. So the last individual was Olutimi. Yeah. 
Yes. So this is Charles now. Oh, yes. Sorry, Charles. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you know, okay, let, let me just quickly um, add to what uh, Olitimi said earlier, that the max you can pay is 25 naira. That's the max, and you know, on, any, on normal transfer, you pay as high as 50 naira. So, but the great thing about NQR is that um, we have also looked at the, the, um, the frequency of transaction, and we know that the frequency of transactions that we have seen is between 5,000 and below. Could you believe that? The uh, aside from that 25 naira, any transaction which is below 5,000 naira is 5 naira. That's what you pay. In fact, if yeah. you want to go and buy bread, you can pay as low as 1 naira. You know, today bread is 750. Once you buy a 750 naira bread, what you pay as a transaction fee is 1 naira. So that is how incredible and how cheap um, NQR is. So um, going to the question you asked me, you said, how do, how do the merchant come on board, right? Yeah. No, no, it's not. We're, we're not getting to the merchants coming on board just yet. I just want to know the cost implication for them before we then go through the process of them coming on board. Yeah, the cost implication of uh, the merchant is zero. So there's no cost, implica there's no cost implication at all. Mm. So, the, so we only have fees and the fees, fees are minimal, which is what um, Olutimi has also has mentioned, the max. Mm. Um, which I also want to have to break down that um, for transaction below 250 naira, you pay 50 kobo. For transactions of 250 to 1000 naira, you pay 1 naira, which means if you are buying a slice bread today, you just pay 1 naira compared to when you do a transfer or when um, you do some other uh, mode of payment. And of course, it's instant. You do between 1000 and 5000, you just pay 5 naira. What will it cost the merchant? It costs the merchant. Now, we, we, we have a flexible mode um, of this payment. Um, we can either charge the merchant or we can charge the customer. So this service is very flexible. Now, if it's a merchant that does not want to burden the customer, the merchant will say, customer will pay zero. Customer yeah. pays nothing. Yeah. So the merchant takes up this cost. So that's what we call MSC, which is Merchant Service Charge. So the merchant takes this on board as the cost of doing business. Okay. Yeah. Now we have also seen situations where the merchant's uh, profitability is very, very lean. And the customers have also shown willingness to take this cost on board. After all, today, customers are paying for transfers. Okay. So we have also built this NQR to also um, have the possibility of moving the cost to the customer, of which case, the one naira will be borne by the customer. The five naira will be borne by the customer. If is if when we implement the merchant side of the customer side of it, but if it's um, implemented such that is the merchant that bears the cost, the customer pays zero, and the merchant bears all of this cost under what we call the NSC. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Charles, uh, for that. Apologies for the mix-up earlier, but. It's brilliant to just see the possibilities with NQR codes, really. Uh, and seeing the cost implication, you get to ask yourself, so why don't we have a lot of people on board? Because that makes life easy for me. You've gone to restaurants where you use you know, QR codes to see the menu, to see all of that. You've gone to places where all you do is just scan and you get information. Even some people, their business cards are just QR codes. You can just scan and you get information, their website and all of that. So why aren't people coming on board? That is what we'll be talking about after this, how your business can come on board NQR, making your transactions much easier, much faster, less hassle, less back and forth. We'll get into that in just a moment. You're still listening to the MSME Radio Show brought to you by the Bankers Committee, and we're talking about an easy way to do business. Do stay with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm not going to do this. 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 I'm not
This message of a bankers committee. You're welcome back to the MSME Radio Show brought to you by the Bankers Committee. I'm Kaede Okikulu and I tell you, I've been having an amazing time speaking to a lady and gentleman about the NQR code. That's the Nigeria Quick Response Code. It's a mode of payment, but guess what? It's even better, I dare say, than the ones you're used to. It is faster. It is cheaper. I can go on and on, but the point is, it is the way to go. It is the future. Not the future, really. It is the now uh, for making payments and doing business. And that's what we're talking about today, essentially helping you to get on board, opening your eyes to the world of possibilities with the NQR code. So your business, your personal finance and all of that is better for it. I just wanted to make a quick uh, reference to ATMs. You know, I was doing some research and I found out that the first ATM, that's the automated teller machine in Nigeria, was brought in in the 80s. Yes, in the 80s. A lot of people don't know this, but Nigerians didn't catch on up until what the early 2000s or thereabout. But you see how ATMs have changed the world. But imagine we had, you know, caught on to it in the 80s, 89, 90s, when it came, imagine how life would have been easier. And that's the same with NQR codes. It is there, it is available for you. So what are you waiting for? Let me go over to Joy now. Joy Igbarama, the product manager at EcoBank Pay, EcoBank. Joy, I imagine a lot of people are now excited about the NQR code. They want to be on board, especially those who have businesses, the small businesses, the nano or micro businesses. How can they get on board as a matter of urgency, Joy? All right, thank you very much. Um, You just walk into your bank, and ask to be onboarded. So once you're onboarded, an email will be sent to your, your, your email address, giving you the link, the web link, and your QR code. And you, you can also request for it to be printed, or you can print it yourself and put it in an acrylic stand and put it on your table, or you can do it into a very um a very big billboard and put it in your shop in or in your restaurant in your supermarket and anybody that wants to pay just walks up opens their mobile app and scans the QR or better still anyone with a feature phone that's a non android phone can use the ussd code pertaining to their banks so basically, it's, it's that easy. You just walk up to your um, bank and ask to be onboarded. And you get onboarded within minutes. You, you always hear when they say as simple as ABC. I, I think this is what they mean when they say as simple as ABC. Getting on board NQR is as easy, literally, as ABC. So if you have a business, if you are if you're looking for ways to just stay ahead, because believe me, you believe you me, as they say, this is a major competitive edge. If you're... Customers can come to your store or come to where you do business and easily make payment at a cheaper rate. Then you can actually use that to brag and say, well, this is my edge. In that other place, you have to spend more time doing transfer and all of that. But right here, you just quickly scan, make payment, and voila, you, you, you know, you've transacted. So that's a major edge, and it's easy to get on board. Just go over to your bank uh, tomorrow morning if you want to. Go over to your bank and get this sorted ASAP. As I said, we're here to make your business, your life even better for it. I'm going to be taking calls and questions now, but just for those who may have missed uh, the number to call or send a message through, this is the number to call us on. If you want to be a part of this NQR code conversation, that's a quick response code. Perhaps you have some questions that we've not touched on. If you need clarification, if you have a peculiar case and you think that, oh, this is a right 
uh, opportunity for me to get answers to my question. Call us on 0810-608-1681 or 0818-202-5883. I'm sorry, I didn't take some calls that came in earlier on. I just wanted us to set the uh, foundation for this conversation before taking calls. So you can call us uh, right away if you've got questions or send us a message uh, about the NQR code. Uh, George just told us how to get on board. It's quite easy. Walk to your bank. And I don't know if um, Olutimi just uh, wants to add your voice uh, to that one, getting on board. Because I think for a lot of people, they might still be dragging and thinking, hmm, is is this really the right way to go? Is why aren't why isn't everyone on it if it's the right way to go? So maybe let's just try to give them some more reasons as to why to get on board on this one because indeed it is for today, not no more for the future. Olu to me. Okay, thank you very much. I'm carried here and down. Um, Joy has said it all. It's it's as simple as ABC. And um, today we have uh, over 37 million MS, MS, uh, ME. And um, one of the things that you look at is um, the cost of, you know, um, getting a sorry. device to make I'm sorry, Lutini. Forgive yes, me. Uh, just a second. Yeah. You continue on that yes. trajectory. But we have a caller yeah. uh, on the line. We've been getting these okay. calls. And just to take them. Uh, good evening. Thank Welcome you. to the MSME radio show. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Joseph. I'm calling from Kaduna. Hi, Joseph. It's good to have you on the show. Uh, what's your comment or question about the NQR code? We're here for you. So I want to ask you if it could be network to operate. Okay. A fantastic question there. Thank you so much. Uh, just stay with us. We'll get answers uh, to that question of yours. Does USSD code, do you need network to use the USSD code? That's a very important question. And we've had this asked uh, a lot. So I think, Olutimi, mm -hmm. you can just add this uh, to the response you were going to give uh, earlier on. Please go ahead. The question is, do you need a network? I imagine networking means is internet connection. But just break yes, it down yes. for us to use the USSD oh, code. What do you need? Okay, thank you very much. So to use the um, NQR, uh, you, you, so you wanted to say, but I guess uh, because we're talking NQR here, yeah. and um, the truth, um, well, and um, when I was explaining earlier on, I mentioned that there are two ways with which you can use the NQR. You have the mobile app where you log in into your mobile app that requires an internet connection. And the other one is for you to use the um, USSD, where you just dial a string of number, and that does not require internet connection, uh, I must say. So that does not require internet connection. And um, that's why the NQR is taking care of uh, both parties, those that have access to internet and those that do not have access to internet, those that have smartphone and those that just have feature phones. And that's why with the USSD code, I mean, you can just dial a string of number, which is also displayed on um, what uh, Charles, you, you you could see that number that Charles, I mean, that code that Charles was, um, uh, was was displaying, and I think is displaying that right now. You will see a number uh, down there, and under that number, you will see uh, you 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 just need to dial a string of um, your your bank's um, short code. And then you know you, you you get to make your payment. Uh, those are things that will be highlighted even as we go on uh, and on the show. Uh, so back to how what I was trying to explain earlier on, uh, and that is how do people how why do you need to get on this platform and how um, you can phantom you going approaching your customer, I mean your bank, and you say, oh, I want to get a POS terminal. Please give me a POS terminal. Of course. A bank will look at your volume and look at the value of transactions you're bringing in, and then will not be able to give because those POS cost money. But today, with NQR, with zero cost, you can be onboarded. With zero cost, you can get the QR code. With zero cost, you can start receiving payments. And it is free. You, you are not being charged anything, unlike um, the other, other means of payment that probably they'll tell you to pay for the hardware. But this 
does not uh, you you don't have to and just with a click of a button if you are being sent your QR code you can print it out and you start receiving uh you start receiving just immediately so that is as simple as abc just like uh, we have uh, enumerated earlier on thanks all right thank you very much uh, only to me for that one again it's as simple as abc but Clearly, we need to even break it down further. And I appreciate all of the work uh, you're doing, uh, Joy, Olutimi, and Charles, to just get this message home. Because whether you like it or not, this is actually for the good of businesses out there. Whichever way you look at it, it is cheaper. It doesn't cost you a lot. It doesn't cost you an arm and leg. I mean, the, the prerequisites to even get on board is really not there. You don't have to have a specific volume, as Olutimi said, but just for those who may need some extra form of insurance or just some convincing. Charles, at this rate, we've not seen a lot of people getting on board as much as people have, you know, the POSs and all of that. I don't know what is responsible, but I know you've had to interact with businesses. I don't know why people don't want to jump on this, Charles, honestly. It is it is so good and it is true at the same time. So again, maybe you want to add to that and speak to some of the uh, skepticisms that people might have, Charles. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so, uh, you know, just like any new technology or a technology that has been around, you know, people are, it's very hard for people to change. You know, um, some time ago, where we were just using, um, cash and then when you brought when we started using POS, we even start to start giving POS to people free of charge for us to be able to convince people to come on board. You know, you tell you go to a supermarket or you go to uh, a store and you tell that individual, look, this box, when um, somebody does transaction on in this box, is going to leave the card the person is holding and then the money is going to hit your account. And then the individual is looking at you. <laughs> How possible? Is it please can you just go, you know? So it took say it took a while. Okay. So a number of things that CBN did then, CBN um gave a number of incentives. And one of the biggest incentives then was that the POS, which will cost the bank um a, 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 a significant amount of money, was given to the merchants um free of charge was given to the merchant free of charge so that they can, will be able to um, excite the merchant to start using this. So this is the same thing that uh, we also start doing on the, on the, on the NQR. Excuse me, please, one minute. All right, no problem. Uh, we'll come back to Charles uh, on that one. He was just trying to walk us through another layer of convincing and why uh, this is important. But let me come back to uh, Joy. Or oh, Charles, are, are, you, are you back now? Yeah, I'm back now. Sorry, please. I, I, I'm in the office. I was trying to um, maybe get some people to be... Oh, it's to, okay. Um, we understand. Yeah, yeah. Bankers work right, yeah. round the clock. Okay. So please go ahead. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So so, so, so that's the same level of convincing. So um, working with MIPS, we've done a, lot, a number of... Uh, um, uh, uh, giving a, a number of incentives for people to come on board. You know, we have done a lot of road shows because familiarity, when people are stuck to something, it takes a while for people to be able to move to a new mode of payment. So a number of times that we, 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 we continue to sense it, uh, incentivize people, um, continue to um, hammer on this, put this on the billboard, put this on um, social media, explain how it works go all out there, go to markets, um, different markets, and then also make the barrier to entry very, very uh, minimal so that people can easily, um, so that people can easily come on board. So all of this um, we have tried, but we are also not seeing that level of um, adoption. So one of these, uh, one of the things that we're also doing is what this program is also doing, you know, simplifying it further for people to understand the what it takes for you to come on board for you to come on board um NQR. so we'll continue to uh, to so sensitize people we'll continue to speak about it and then with time people will catch on because already we are beginning to see people catch on on this and um, joy gave a, an insight of how um, NQR is being used for for everyday things one of them is um 
BLT, where you just go you know, to, today, look at the cost of wealth. So people yeah. are forced to keep their house in, the, in their cars in the house and they start uh, boarding uh, buses. Just today, um, Lagos State um, government has launched the blue line coming from all the way from Badagri down to uh, Marina. And of course, we are looking at all that. Same. So these are the kind of mode of payments that um, will start coming on, but then the people will start to cash on on it. And with time, when people see the simplicity of using this NKR, they start to cash up on it. One of the main reasons why uh, people might have found this a bit difficult is because it's one, is smartphone enabled, okay? Today we have 44% uh, of total population using smartphones. So first of all, you have to be in front of the customer, you have to log into the smartphone, then you have to scan, then you have to make that payment. But that's one of the reasons why NIBS has also simplified the use case in this situation where you can just dial a code. You know, since we are already used to dial a code, you just dial a code, star your bank code, star five, six, star the merchant code, which I just displayed when uh, Olitimi was speaking, and then the amount you want to pay hash, and you yeah. just um, put it, and then voila, you're able to make that payment. So it will cash on. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Charles. Right. It will catch on. Let me just I say thought, this. Okay. I Another way to get this uh, everywhere is you, as a consumer, you love the idea, right? You like that it's cheaper, so it's faster, you don't have to carry you around your ATM and all of that. So when next you're buying bread, ask your bread seller, Ogalfa now, where your NQR code? And if they ask you, yeah, which one the NQR, so tell much. them, it's voice. very easy. Just go to your bank, tell them you want to get on board. They'll give you that code. You just print it out and put it beside your, you know, your stall. And that's it. I can be paying easily. Doesn't mean you shouldn't buy bread at that point, but basically encourage them to get on board. Your suya seller as well. When you get there this evening, tell them, Oga, let's do this NQR code. It is cheaper even for you as a business person, okay? So encourage them. The petrol station you go to, ask them, you need to do this NQR code, okay? It is a future. And tell them that, see, if they get on board right now, when the prerequisites are really not there, it is going to be cheaper. I remember then, I think Charles was saying that at some point, POS, POS machines were given to businesses free of charge because they wanted to get people on board. But now there are some certain requirements you need to have. So for the people who get on board early, it is always going to be easy. And now is the time. So Adam, as a matter of urgency, tell them you can actually get on board tomorrow ASAP. All right, let's get this word around. We can, of course, together make this economy better. Joy, I need to come to you now, okay? And just again, for those who may just be joining us, by the way, if you're just joining us, uh, you can call us. I'm sorry, I couldn't take some calls just as Charles was speaking. Uh, the number to call us or text us through uh, again is, let me get the number for you, 0810-608-1681 or 0818-202-5883. Sorry, I got carried away with the conversation with Charles. I couldn't take the call. So you can call us back now. I'll take your calls and uh, your messages as well as questions uh, that you have for us on the show. So Joy, let me come to you now and just again, walk through the process of making the payments. You know, anything that has to do with mobile phones, some people get to just, they just shut off thinking, okay, it's complex for me. All I need to know how to do is call and text on my phones, especially those who might not be as tech savvy uh, as you, you would expect. So just walk us through. I get to my bread seller tomorrow. There is that code being displayed. What do I do to make the payment, Joy? All right. Thank you. The customer logs into um, Ease or our my, um, mobile app. This is another um, security that the customer has. So for you to be able to scan a QR, you have to have access to your mobile app. So any bank's mobile app, log into your mobile app. So mobile apps Oh, oh dear. I think we just lost connection with uh, Joy there, but not to worry, we'll, we'll get Joy back uh, to finish up. Uh, with what she was saying, how to use the NQR code. And she was just talking about how the a mobile app is another layer of and, you know, security. Um, so nobody can just pick your phone and use your phone to pay for you know uh, something because they have access to your camera. They have to go through the app. And for you to use the app, you have to type in your password or use biometrics. So that's another brilliant way uh, you get security with the NQR. 
QR. So we'll, we'll come we'll come to Joy, but let me quickly take this question from Erevo Okote. Uh, and this one is on the virtual platform. Uh, says, I guess the user must be registered or be a registered user of a bank code before this will work. Also, what's the transaction limit for this? Uh, that's a question uh, from Erevo Okote. I do hope I got your name correctly. Please forgive me uh, if I didn't. But I see that Joy is back. Uh, so Joy, Sorry. please, you can land on the point you were making. We we're almost worried right, we yes. lost you for a moment there, Joy. Yes, so sorry. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I said the um, customer will need to open his or her mobile app. Then it has different names for different banks. Some banks call it Scan and Pay. Some banks call it NQR for um, Echo Bank, where I'm from. We call it Echo Bank Pay. So um, it's still the same thing. It's still QR. So um, the customer opens the mobile app, clicks on the particular name it's called. Let's use EcoBank Pay, for example. Click on the EcoBank Pay. Then it's going to bring up a camera-like um, page screen for you. Then you put it close to the QR you want to scan. It yes. um, captures it, um, gets the QR. Then it automatically brings up another page where you have the merchant account name, merchant account number, then all you have to do is put input the um, amount you want to pay. Then you click on send. When you click on send, it brings up another page where you have to input your PIN. Like Mr. Charles said, it's usually a four digit PIN. Input your PIN, then click send. And immediately the merchant is credited as instant settlement. Immediately the merchant is credited and customer is debited. So that's the process that I works. And we all live happily ever, ever mm -hmm. after. How did you say <laughs> that? Thank you very much, Joy. So let's take this question from uh, Erivo Kote, and I'll naturally go to Olutimi uh, for this one. The question is, uh, I guess the user must be registered or a registered user of a bank code before this will work. Also, what's the transaction limit uh, for this? Olutimi, please. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Coyote. And um, just before I answer that question, I just want to explain that what Joy just explained uh, just now, it looks lengthy, but honestly, it takes less than 45 seconds yeah. to conclude these transactions. Uh, it just takes, it's a, just, it takes 45 seconds to conclude an NQR transaction from beginning to the end because it takes you to log in. Just, those are just the processes, but of course, you can be sure that this is very fast. So coming back to the question that was asked, um, um, you 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 need to have been registered. Um, I mean, to to have downloaded your mobile app. That's number one. Number two, you also need to have been pre-registered as um, a short code user. Of course, you have to get on board. But all these are very simple things that yeah. uh, the simple process for you to get on board on the short code of your bank and then you will be able to use it. All these are basically uh, security um, uh, protection for you uh, so that somebody does, does not just pick your number or pick your phone and be able to do all these transactions on our behalf. And coming to the limit, uh, there's actually no limit on what you can do on NQR. But for each bank, every bank has a limit that has been set uh, just to uh, like a sort of protection for, for their customers. Uh, some have left it as 2 million, some has, has increased it up to 10 million. So depending on what you, you uh, the doing. kind of transaction you do. And then, yeah. you know, today we have um, artificial intelligence that determines or that detects the kind of transaction you do. So if you are, the, if you are such that you do maybe basically your, your transactions are between 10,000 to 20,000, naturally, we we'll probably will leave your limit at that. Or when you do a larger limit, it, it probably can prompt uh, a sort of additional control for you. Uh, mm. just, these are just things we put in place to ensure that your security and that you do not lose your fund. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much, Olu, to me. We're, we're coasting home now. We have just about a minute or so to end the conversation. And I tell you, it's been an interesting one on NQR codes. I'll end with Charles. Charles, we've talked a lot about the NQR code, the benefits, how to get on board and all of that. But just in case, you know, we are trying to convert people, Charles. Just in case there's just one more person <laughs> that is not convinced. What would be your final words to that person, Charles? 
or just one person who is not convinced, I would say a trial will convince you. You know, <laughs> uh, so so most times, you know. Okay, let me show you guys something. So I have this, and then I have the NQR. I, I have to remove it. I mean, they go, I'm going to put it back. So I have it on a smaller, just behind my ID card. Okay. Yeah. So what I use it to demonstrate for people who want to bring on board, you know, today you'll see dispatch rider and then they carry POS and then they come to you and they say either you do POS or you do transfer. They can hang that NQR on their neck. Yeah. You know, yeah. this um, stop. They hang it on their neck and then they just move around and then you just can't pay. So the okay. ease okay. of payment is incredible. So I just demonstrate all ways that NQR can be used. Joy spoke okay, about Charles. the BLT one. Um, Olutemi mentioned about the limits. Yeah. You know, so it encompasses every uh, payment uh, potential that is existing in other things. In okay, POS, we have to run now, Charles. All right, no sweat. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You're a good evangelist. You want to maximize the time, but I have to thank you so much uh, for your time on the show this evening. Joy, Olutemi, Charles, it's been an amazing time with you talking NQR codes. Let's do this again, shall we? This is where we hang our boots sort of on this show. And I'd like to thank the production crew on behalf of Bolale Oyemi, the director of FRC and Lagos Operations, Mara Owomau, the assistant director of programs, and of course the engineering team, Latif Olatunde, Daniel Kuye, Dowi Sebio, Rilwan Oladejo, Philip uh, Ono, and of course Samuel Udoma, who's on the camera. Uh, Muchtaba is here, by the way, it's a full house. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. We're back next week with more financial talk. Till then, don't forget to always make profit in whatever you do. I'm Kaido Hikilu. Goodbye. <laughs>